channel knowledge how friends subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for the latest update so today we're gonna start with your uh, the class that is of class uh, 12th chemistry that we have to discuss here and which is as you can see here this has been the chemistry for class 12 and um, this is your class is your 26th class and as you know that we had done your 25th classes in the last classes so it's a huge request from my side to all the viewers to please go through the subscribe button and please like share and subscribe our channel so that many and maximum people can get the information at once and even though you can also enjoy the video as well on the same cases uh, before starting with this that is uh, before in the last 25 classes we had completed your unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 4 5 6 7 here uh, this is the unit 8 that is the d and f block elements and hopefully it is not exceed 8 moles in hours so surely we will complete this unit in this class only uh, this is from my side that i can uh, you know expect it so uh, starting with this so last we discussed about the peroxy uh, that per disulfate to the permanganate or uh, the reaction that we had done here now in terms of it that the potassium permanganate that forms a dark purple like almost black uh, you know the crystal which are iso structured with those of kclo4 and that the salt is not uh, very soluble in water which is 6.4 gram per 100 gram of water at 293 kelvin but when heated it decomposes it uh, decomposes at uh, 513 kelvin for the same we have as your 2 kmn o4 will give k2 mn o4 plus mn o2 plus o2 that we have the reaction for the same it has uh, two physical properties of considerable uh, interest and its intense color and its weak temperature dependent paramagnetism where these can be explained by the use of molecular orbital theory which is beyond the present scope the manganate and permanganate ions are tetrahedral and the green manganate is paramagnetic with unpaired electron but the permanganate is a diamagnetic here. The pi bonding takes place by overlap of p orbital of oxygen with d orbitals of manganese. Acidified permanganate solution oxidizes oxalates and to carbon dioxide here, which iron second to iron third, nitrites to nitrates, and iodides to free iodines. The half reaction of the reductants uh, are we have, which is 5 double O minus. This has been C double O minus here. It will give 10. CO2 plus 10 electron on the same cases here for this which is 5 Fe2 plus will give 5 Fe3 plus plus 5 electron 5 NO2 plus 5 H2O it will give 5 NO3 minus plus 10 H plus plus 10 electron where 10 I that will give 5 I2 plus 10 electron the full reaction that can be written by adding the half reaction for KMnO4 uh, to uh, the half reaction of the reducing agent balancing wherever necessary if we represent the reductions of permanganate to manganate manganese and uh, that dioxide and manganese second solved by the half reaction it would be like MnO4 plus electron will give MnO4 to minus for the same that uh, we have your equals to plus 0 0.56 volt The other equation is MnO4 plus 4H plus plus 3 electron will give MnO2 plus 2H2O that is of E equals to plus 1.69 volt. 
the another is your MnO4 plus 8 H plus plus 5 electron it will give Mn2 plus plus 4 H2 that we have so electron equals to plus 1.52 volt we can very uh, you know uh, well uh, see that the hydrogen ion concentrations of the solution that plays an important part in influencing the reaction and although a uh, mini reaction can be understood by considerations of redox potential kinetics of the reaction is also an important factor where per magnet at uh, that is your h plus equals to one that should oxidize water but in practice the reaction is extremely slow unless either manganese or second ions are present as the temperature is raised a few important oxidizing reactions of KMnO4 are given below so first we'll discuss about uh, in acidic solution the first category we talk about it in acidic solution before starting with this uh, in acidic solution we have a diagram here for respecting you know that is for the tetrahedral magnets here that is your O bonded with Mn bonded with O double bonded with O and double bonded with O this is your tetrahedral manganese which ion which is in green okay so just write it down here green. the second we have is your o double bond mn single bond o double bond o double bond o here which is your tetrahedral per magnet iron of course this is being the purple color okay so yes we'll discuss about in acidic uh, solutions here so in the same cases uh, the reaction that we have here for this iodine is liberated from potassium iodide then it will be 10 i minus plus 2 mn o4 plus 16 h plus will give 2mn2 plus plus 8 h2o plus 5 i2 okay then for the second one we'll have the second is your fe ion that green is converted to fe3 plus and that for the same we have to go ahead here and on the same case the reaction we have for this which is fe ion green is converted to fe3 plus which is in yellow so 5 fe 2 plus plus mn o4 minus plus 8 h minus will give mn 2 plus plus 4 h2 o plus 5 fe 3 plus here the next we talk about is that to oxalate iron or uh, here that we have that is your oxalate iron or oxo acids uh, uh, that is oxidized at 333 kelvin so for that we have here is 5c2o4 2 minus plus 2 mn o4 minus plus 16h plus that will give 2mn2 plus plus 8h2o plus 10 co2 hydrogen sulfide is oxidized and sulfur being precipitated then it will be h2s will give 2h plus and plus 2s2 minus here and for the same we have another reaction that is 5s2 plus 2mno Four minus plus sixteen H plus will give two Mn two plus plus eight H two O plus five S. When sulfurous acid or a sulfate sulfide is oxidized to a sulfate or sulfuric acid, then it will form five SO three two minus plus 
टू एम एन ओ फोर प्लस सिक्स एच प्लस विल गेव टू एम एन टू प्लस दैट इज वी हैव एम एन ओ प्लस सिक्स एच दैट विल गेव टू एम एन टू प्लस प्लस थ्री एच टू ओ प्लस फाइव एच सो फोर टू माइनस दिस इज योर सल्फेट अनदर इज नाइट्राइट इज ऑक्सीडाइज टू नाइट्रेट then it is five n o two plus two m n o four plus six h plus will give two m n two plus plus five n o three plus three h two o here this is your nitrate okay on the same cases uh, we'll talk about the second category which is in a neutral or or uh, that is your faintly alkaline solution that we have to discuss here and that is even the important for the same will call called as as the second category this is the first is in an acidic acidic a solution the second we have is in neutral or faintly alkaline solution again okay, so for this we have here where are notable a uh, reaction uh, and is the oxidation of iodide to iodate and for the same we have here 2 mno4 plus h2o plus i minus will give 2 mno2 plus 2 oh minus plus i o or uh, 2 here 3 this is your iodide the another we have thiosulfate is oxidized almost quantitatively to the sulfate here which is 8 mno4 plus 3 h2o3 plus h2o will give 8 mno2 plus 6 so4 plus 2 oh here now we will go ahead with another one where manganese uh, salt uh, that is uh, uh, that salt is oxidized to mno2 and uh, the presence of zinc sulfate uh, or zinc oxide uh, catalyzes the oxidation so that is we have 2 mno4 plus 3 mn2 plus plus 2 h2o will give 5 mno2 plus 4 h plus here so with the same uh, we have a note here for the same that the permanganate attraction uh, is uh, in presence of hydrofluoric acid are unsatisfactory since hydrofluoric acid is oxidized to chlorine here so the users will go ahead to talk about it in terms of uses that is uh, besides as used in uh, analytical uh, analytical uh, chemistry the potassium permanganate is used as favorable oxidant uh, in a uh, preparative organic chemistry it uses for the bleaching of wool cotton silk and other textiles uh, that uh, fibers and for the decolorizations of oil are also dependent on its strong oxidizing power here we will go ahead with the inner transition element that which uh, we have to cover up here that is even the important to the inner transition elements that is of your f block okay so the inner trans abhi tak humne transition elements ke bare mein baat kiya jo ki aapka d block tha but now we'll go ahead to discuss about the inner trans transition element which is your f block so here that the f block consists of the two series which is your lanthanides and the 14th uh, that uh, the 14th elements following the lanthano lanthanum and lanthanum and the actinides uh, that uh, the 14th element uh, following actinum here actinium 
So because the lanthanum in Sclosia resembles the lanthanoids, it is usually included in any discussions of lanthanoids for which the general symbols LN is often used. And similarly, a discussion of the actinoids includes the actinium besides the 14th element constituting the series. Lanthanoids resemble one another more closely than do uh, the members or of uh, ordinary transition element in any series. They have only one stable oxidation state and their chemistry that provides an excellent opportunity to examine the effect of small changes in size and nuclear chain charges along a series of otherwise uh, similar element. The chemistry of the actinoid is, on the other hand, much more uh, complicated and the complication arises partially owing to the occurrence of a wide range of oxidation state in these elements and partially uh, that because of uh, their, you know, that is of radioactivity creates special problems in their study. The two series will be considered separately here. On the same case, the names, uh, now we'll discuss about the lanthanides here in the detail. In terms of the lanthanides here that we have to talk about it, which is the name simple that electronic configuration of atomic and some ionic states and atomic and ionic radii of lanthanum and lanthanoids for which the general symbol is LN is used that are given uh, that we'll discuss here in the form of a table here that is even though important too and uh, which we have to talk about here in the detail as well. So on the same cases, uh, we go ahead here in the detail about first about when we are talking about uh, that electronic uh, configuration we discussed here, which is to be as follows, and that is also an important one. The first we discuss about electronic configuration. In terms of electronic configuration, it may be noted to that uh, that the atoms of the elements having electronic configuration, which is uh, with 6s2 common or uh, with a variable uh, occupy uh, that is the occupancy of 4f level. Uh, that is, uh, however, the electronic configuration of all the tripositive ions and that the most stable oxidation state of all the lanthanides are of. Uh, the form which is 4fn where n can be your from 1 to 14 with increasing atomic number okay 4fn we can represent it and is this n could be from 1 to 14 okay now we'll discuss about another one this is your atomic and size uh, atomic and ionic sizes In terms of uh, atomic and ionic sizes here we talk about it which is the overall decrease in atomic and ionic radii from lanthanum uh, that uh, antennium uh, that as we have and uh, on the same cases uh, for the uh, which is your uh, that is your lithium that the lanthanide a contraction is a unique feature in chemistry of the lanthanoids and it has a reaching consequences in the chemistry of the third transition series of the element the decrease in atomic radii which is derived from the structures of metals is not quite regular as it's a regular to the m3 plus ions this contraction is of the course uh, the similar to that observed in an ordinary transition series and is attributed to the same causes and that the perfect uh, shielding of one electron by another in the same uh, sub shell high over the shielding of one 4f electron by another is less than one d electron by another with the increase in nuclear charge along the series there is a fairly regular decrease in the sizes with increased atomic number here in the circum uh, that is the cumulative effect of the contractions of lanthanide series known as lanthanoids contractions causes the radii of the members of the third transition series that to be very similar to those that the corresponding members of the second series and the almost identical radii of zr 
which is 160 pm and hf 159 pm and a consequence of that lanthanoid contraction account for their occurrence together in nature and for the difficulty faced in their separations as well now we'll discuss about the trends in ionic radii of lanthanoids This is for 90, then we have 100, and then we have 110. So here this is your 57, 59, 61, 63, 65, 67, 69, 71. Okay, so here we have this is your atomic number. And here it, this is side we have your ionic radii 4 pm that we have so from this we have this is la <coughs> 3 plus then ce 3 plus pr 3 plus then we have nd 3 plus then we have pm 3 plus then we have SN3 plus, then we have EU3 plus, then GD3 plus, DB3 plus, DY3 plus, HO3 plus, ER3 plus, TM3 plus, YB3 plus, and LU3 plus. These four dotted were connected to one another. Okay, so there are TVs here as well. This is separated and TM and TU. What is of 2 plus and YB 2 plus? This is here. Okay, and this is your uh, another we have here. This is your 4 plus. It is here. And so here it is C 4 plus and PR 4 plus is here. So this has been representing here. And that is the trend in ionic radii of lanthanoids. We'll talk about the another one, which is the next we have, and that is your oxidation states. In terms of oxidation state, in the lanthanoids, the Li second and Ln a third that compounds are a predominant species and however occasionally the plus 2 and plus 5 ions in solutions or in a solid the compound that are also obtained this irregularity as an ionization enthalpy that arises mainly from the extra stability of empty and half filled or filled f subshell thus the formations of a CE4 is favorable by its noble gas configuration, but it is a strong oxidant uh, that is reverting to the common plus 3 state. The E values for CE4 plus and CE3 plus is uh, that is your plus 1.74 volt, which suggests that it can oxidize uh, water and however the reaction rate is very slow and hence CE4 is good analytical reagent, PR, ND, TV, and DY also exhibit plus 4 state but only in oxides. MO2, EU2 plus is formed by losing the 2's electrons and its F7 configuration accounts for the formation common plus 3 state. Similarly, YB2 plus which has a F14 configuration is a uh, reductant the tb4 uh, that is has half filled f orbitals and is an oxidant the behavior of uh, uh, that uh, behavior of a uh, scenario is very much like a chiropium exhibits both plus two and plus three oxidation state now we'll discuss about the another one which is electronic configuration of radii of lanthanum and lanthanoids here that we have to discuss as well so we'll go ahead for the forming a table here a sort of a table that we have to discuss here and that is on the same behalf of it we'll go ahead for the same 
so before uh, dealing with a table uh, we'll discuss many more things we'll discuss the tables here at you know one frame uh, so that it will be you know uh, the helpful for you to learn about it which is uh, about the table uh, so we'll discuss some of the things here related to this then the general characteristics we'll discuss so this is for the electronic configuration and radio of lanthanum and lanthanides we'll discuss in uh, the next uh, way in this class only but later we'll discuss first general characteristic in general characteristics here all the lanthanides are silvery white soft metal and tarnish rapidly in air the hardness increases with increasing atomic number and samarium being steel hard their melting point range between 1000 to 1200 kelvin and uh, that is your but the samarium melts at 1623 kelvin they have a typical metallic structures and are good conductors of heat and electricity density and the other properties changes smoothly except for eu and yb and occasionally for sm and tm many trivalent lanthanide ions are colored both in solid state and in aqueous solution color of these ions may be attributed uh, to the presence of f electron neither la3 plus nor lu3 plus ions shows any color path the rest do so However, absorption bands are narrow and probable because of the excitation within F or level and the lanthanide ions other than the F0 type LA3+, and CE4+, and the F14 type which is YB2+, and LU3+, are all paramagnetic. The paramagnetism rises to the maximum in a uh, new dynamium and the first uh, ionization enthalpy of the lanthanides are around 600 kilojoule mole inverse the second about 1200 kilojoule mole inverse that are comparable with those of calcium a detailed discussions of variations of the third ionization enthalpy indicates that the exchange enthalpy consideration as in 3d orbitals of the first transition series that appeared to impart a certain degree of stability to empty, half-filled and completely filled or vitals F level. This is indicated from the abnormally low level value of the third ionization enthalpy of lanthanum, uh, gadolinium and uh, lutetium in their chemical uh, behavior in general that the earlier members of series are quite reactive similar to calcium but with increased atomic number they behave more like uh, aluminium values of e uh, for the half reaction we have and for the same the reaction we'll get is your ln 3 plus equus plus 3 electron will give ln that is here okay this has been representing here that is we have to talk about it so on the same phases that is uh, with uh, that are you know the range of the minus uh, 2.2 to minus 2.4 volt except for eu for which the value minus 2.0 volt here as well this is of course a small variation and the metals that combined with hydrogen when gently heated in the gases were the carbides ln uh, that is one ln 3c and ln 2c3 and ln c2 that are formed when the metals are heated with carbon and they liberate uh, hydrogen from dilute acid and bond in halogens as well to form halides. They form oxides uh, that is your M2O3 and hydroxides MOH3 thrice. The oxides are definite uh, that compound not just hydrated oxide, they are basic. Uh, uh, that is uh, they are basic like alkaline earth mat oxides and ox uh, hydro oxide as well their general reactions are depicted that were discussed here in the form of a table as well and on the, uh, for the chemical reaction that we talk about it uh, yes for the length that the best single uh, use uh, of lanthanide is for the productions of alloy steel for that plate and pipes uh, and that is a well known alloy is your or uh, miss uh, that is uh, mist uh, metals and which consists of uh, and uh, that is your uh, the lanthanides metals uh, which is near about 25% and iron 5% near about 
approximate uh, the traces of S, C, N, C, A, and A L as well. Where a good deal of uh, the mist uh, metal is used in MG based alloy to produce bullet shell and a lighter uh, flint as well that makes oxides of lanthanides are employed as catalysts in petroleum cracking some individual uh, alien oxides are used for the phosphorus in television screens and similar fluorescent surfaces as well so we'll discuss here that is a diagram we have to discuss here which is of uh, lu that will represent ln that is we have to represent it here only we'll go ahead for the same that has been representing here it is your ln this is your ln x so this is with halogens okay this is with acid this is it is your h2 this is h only then it is your bonds in o2 bonds in O2 so with the same that is forming ln 2O3 it is heated with S heated with S so that is ln 2S2 this is heated with N this is ln N and this is with C 2773 Kelvin that is LNC here that is forming so here it is your with H2O that is forming LN OH2 plus H2 here that is we have here LN OH3 that is we have and for that it is your chemical reaction of the lanthanoids here that we have okay now we'll discuss about the table that i told you about that we have discussed here in this class uh, only and that is in later so yes we'll do go ahead for the same So with the same that is we have your PR that is 4F36S2 that is 4F3, 4F2, 4F1 this is 182 and 101. 60 is that is we have as your new dynam that is new di diamna which is nd that is 4f4 6s2 4f4 4f3 4f2 this is 181.99 the another 61 atomic number we have and the names itself we have is your promethium promethium the this is we have of pm 4 f5 6 s2 4 f5 here 4 f4 and then this is your 181 and 98 here itself now we will be going ahead further which we discussed about it 
and that is the another one here that uh, we have to discuss about it which is the another one that is as follows with the same we have the another one is uh, that we have to talk about it which is the samarium here and that is after the prometheum uh, we have samarium that is 62 then a uh, symbol is sm then we have 4f6 6s2 and 4f6 4f5 here and that is your 180 this is 96 now we'll talk about 63 which is europium this is eu we have this is 4f7 6s2 4f7 4f6 and this is 199 and this is 95 now we will be going ahead further that we have to discuss here which is the another one and uh, that is your 64th here which is the gadolinium gadolinium this is gd and Electronic configuration for this is 4F7, 5D1, 6S2. This is 4F7, 5D1, 4F7. This is 180.94. The another we have here is Tobium. This is TV. Um, this is 4F9, 6S2, this is 4F9, 4F8, 4F7, 178, and this is 92. We have the another we talk about is IR, that is Dispo. Dispo. This is dy. This is 4f10, 6s2, 4f10, 4f9, 4f8, 177, 91. The 67 number we have here uh, that we have is your that is holmium. This is HO, which is 4F11, 6S2, 4F11, 4F10. This is 176, and this is 89. Now we'll talk about the another one which we have to talk about it, as what we have to discuss here. So on the same cases, that is for this we have that is this we have so after the holmium uh, that we have is another one is your erbium which is e r b i u m that is we have e r and this is 4 f 12 6 x 2 this is 4 f 12 this is 4 f 11 and then we have 175 after 176 this is 175 and this is 88 now we will be going ahead with another one that is your 69 here and that is your thulium and thulium that is tm this is 4 f13 6 s2 then we have 4 f13 
four F twelve and one seventy four fifty seven. The another we have is your Y Tobio that we have. This is your YB four F fourteen six S two four F fourteen. 4f13 this is 173 and 56 now we have the another one is your lithium this is lu 4f14 5d1 and 6s2 this is 4f14 5d1 this is 4f14 and that we have dashes here that even though we have to find out and that is also an important one and that was even though have to discuss about the general characteristics we had even though discussed about it now we'll go ahead and that we have to talk about it which is another one on the same basis we'll discuss about the actinoids and that is also an important one so let's go ahead for the same the actinoids we will talk about it the actinoids here the actinoids include the 14 element uh, from th to lr and the names symbols and some properties of these elements that are given here and that we have to discuss about it so we'll discuss here is your some properties of actinium and actinoids so we'll go ahead for the same some properties of actinium and actinoids we have So here we discuss about atomic number. Then we'll discuss about the name. Then we have your symbol. Then we have electronic configuration. And that is your M. Then M3 plus m4 plus this is the radii per pm which is m3 plus and m4 plus that we have to talk about it that we have to discuss here so the atomic number that we have to hear discuss is from 89 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 100 101 102 103 and that we will discuss here so we will be going ahead for the same and um, we find out for the all the actinoids uh, that all start from actinium here so that is your 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 then we have 99 100 101 102 and 103 here that we have to discuss okay
this is what we have discussed here so the from first we'll talk about it that is your 89 and that is your actinium which is ac that is your 6d17 is 2 that is 5 f0 and this is your 111 we'll talk about the another one which is thorium that is th mm, this is 6 d 2 7 s 2 this is 5 f 1 5 f 0 and this is 99 for the 91 here that is your protactinium protactinium this is p a then 5 f 2 6 d 1 7 s 2 this is 5 f 2 as well then we have 5 f 1 this is 96 now we'll go ahead for the another one which is 92 that is uranium this is denoted by u 5 f 3 6 d 1 7 s 2 this is 5 f 3 5 f 2 this is 103 and 93 the another 93 atomic number we have neptunium in neptunium that is your NP this is 5 F O 6 D 1 7 S 2 that is we have this is 5 F O 5 F 3 this is 100 one and that is 92 another we have 94th one that is your uh, which is your plutonium in plutonium here that is your pu that is your 5 f 6 7 s 2 this is 5 f 4 uh, this is 5 f6 and 5 f5 then we have here is 100 and 90 now we'll go ahead with another one that is your uh, that is your americium in americium here that is your am and this is 5 f 6 7 s 2 so for the same we have here for uh, 7 s 2 5 f 5 f 7 here uh, that is your for americium it is your 5 f 7 and 7 s 2 then that is your uh, for the same we have 5 f 7 and uh, on uh, the same behalf of it this is 5f6 and 5f4 5 here let's go 5f6 and 5f5 on the same piece that we have to talk about it here this is 5f5 sorry for the same 5f6 uh, here 5f5 this is 99 and this is 89 here We'll go ahead for the 96th year that we have to talk about it which is curium and the curium is cm 5f7 6d1 7s2 that is 5f7 5f6 this is 99 and 88 now we will be going ahead and that is for 97 here that is your volcanium 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 this is vk and this is your 
5 f 9 7 s 2 5 f 9 7 s 2 this is 5 f 8 5 f 8 5 f 7 this is 98 and 87 another is your californium which is cl 5 f 10 7 s 2 5 f 9 5 f 8 this is your 98 this is 86 now we will go ahead and that is your instanium instanium which is es 5 f 11 7 s 2 that we have to talk about it and that is uh, we have here on the same cases we go ahead and that we have to talk about it this is 5 f 10 5 f uh, 9 and this is dash for the another one we have here which is we have to talk about it and that is for the hundred here that is the name is your for me so this is your for me this is we have your fm 5 f 12 7 s 2 this is 5 f 11 5 f 10 then we have 401 is your mendelevium this is md 5 f uh, 13 7 s 2 5 f 12 and 5 f 11 another we have 102 s so that we have to talk about it which is your nobilium this is your N 5 f 12 7 s 2 we'll talk about it and that is uh, we have your s5 f uh, for uh, 13 and 5 f uh, 12 another we have as your that is laurinium which is l a w r e n e i m it is lr 5 f 15 61 7 s 2 this is 5 f 14 and 5 f 12 here that we have to talk about it and that is also an important one for the same in the same cases here that is uh, the actinoids are radioactive elements here and uh, that is uh, earlier uh, and the earlier members have relatively long half lives and the later that one have half life values ranging from a day to three minute for the lauranium which is that equals to 103 the latter members could be prepared only in uh, nanogram quantities these facts render their study more difficult we'll discuss about the another one which is in terms of electronic configurations here we'll go ahead for the same so here for that we have your electronic configuration So for the electronic configuration we go ahead here that all the actinoids are believed to have an electronic configuration of 4s2 and the variables that occupy that is your occupancy of ff uh, of the 5f and 6d subshell the 14 electrons are formally added to 5f and through not uh, though not in a uh, thorium which is the atomic number we have 90 but from pa onwards that is 5f orbitals that are completely completed element 103 the irregularities in uh, the electronic configurations of actinoids like those of the lanthanoids here 
that are related uh, to the stability uh, stabilities of the f0 f7 and f14 that occupies of 5 f orbitals thus the configurations of am and cm that are rn f5 f7 f7 s2 and rn 5 f7 and 6d 17 s2 although the 5 f orbital resembles the 4 f orbital in their angular part of the wave function they are not as buried as 4 f orbitals and hence 5f electrons uh, can participate in bonding to a far greater extent as well we'll go ahead to discuss about the another one which is your ionic sizes here and that even though which is we have to that is important for that ionic sizes In terms of ionic sizes here, that the general trend in the lanthanoids are observable in the actinoids as well as there is a gradual decrease in the size of atom of M3 plus ions across the series. This may be referred to as an actinoid contraction like lanthanoids contraction. The contraction is however greater from the element to the element in the series that is resulting from poor shielding by 5F or by electrons as well. We'll discuss the another one which is we have is your the oxidation state in terms of oxidation state there is a greater range of oxidation uh, states which is in part of that is attributed to the fact that the 4f 6d and 4s levels are comparable energies and the known oxidation states of actinoids are listed that will discuss here as well and that the actinoid shows in the general plus 3 oxidation uh, state the element in the first half of the series frequently exhibits higher oxidation state for example the maximum oxidation state increases from plus 4 in thallium and plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 and uh, that uh, respectively in a PAU and NP but decreases in succeeding elements uh, that the actinoids resembles the lanthanoids in having a more uh, you know more uh, compounds uh, in plus 3 state than in plus 4 state as well and however plus 3 and plus 4 ions that tend to hydrolyze because of the distribution of oxidation states among the actinoid is to uneven is so uneven and so different for the former and the later element it is unsatisfactory to review their chemistry in terms of oxidation state now we'll discuss about the oxidation states of actinium and actinoids oxidation states of actinium and actinoids that we have so for the same we will be drawing uh, you know a sort of a table that we have to discuss here which is that to be as follows as well so we'll start from actinium this is for AC. Then we have TH, PA, U, NP, then PU, AM, CN, BK, CF, PS, FM, MD, LOLR that we have that is we have so we'll uh, uh, you know uh, write down the oxidation states of actinium and actinoids that is we have as follows that is we have three then four then here it is three four five this is three four five and six this is three four five six and seven three four five six seven three four 
थ्री फोर थ्री 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 then three three and three it all having a three here that's uh, that what we have to talk about it and that is also an important one here now we'll go ahead for the another one that is we have to talk about it and for the same we'll have to find out the another we have is uh, for the general characteristics and comparisons with uh, lanthanoids here and that even though we have to discuss about it general characteristics and comparison with lanthanoids that we have so in the same cases the actinoid metals are all silvery in appearance but display a variety of structures and the structure variability variability is obtained due to irregularities in metallic radii which are far greater than in lanthanoids here and that even though we have to discuss so and in so same cases uh, we will be going ahead here in the detail in terms of it and yes so we'll be surely completing this unit here in this class only and possibly we'll, uh, we'll try to complete that for the same that the actinoids are highly reactive metal and that are especially when finely divided and that the actions of boiling water on uh, them that for example gives a mixture of oxide and hydride and combination with most non-metals that takes place at uh, moderate temperatures hydrochloric acid attacks all metals but most uh, are slightly affected by nitric acid owing to the formation of productive oxide layer which is alkalis have no actions as well where the magnetic properties of the actinoids are more complex than those of the lanthanoids although the variations in the magnetic uh, susceptibility of the lanthanoids with the number of unpaired 5f electron is uh, that is or roughly parallel to the corresponding result for the lanthanoids and the latter have uh, higher values it is evident from the behavior of the actinoids that the ionization in halpies of the early actinoids though not accurately known but are lower than for early lanthanoids this is a quite reason reasonable uh, that is since it is too lower than the earlier lanthanoids this is quite reasonable since it is to be expected that when 5f orbitals are beginning to be occupied and they will penetrate less into the inner core of electron and the 5f electrons will therefore be more effectively shielded shielded from the nuclear charge than the 4f electron of the corresponding lanthanoid because the outer electrons are less firmly held and they are available for bonding in the actinoids as well where are comparisons of the actinoids with the lanthanoids with respect to the different characteristics as discussed that we have and that reveals that the behavior similar to that of the lanthanoid is not evident until the second half of the actinoid series however even the early actinoid resembles the lanthanoids uh, in showing close similarities with each other and in a gradual variations in properties which do not entail change in oxidation state and the lanthanoids uh, uh, and actinoids character contractions have extended effect on the sizes and therefore the properties of the elements succeeding them in their respective periods where the lanthanoids contraction is more important because the chemistry of the elements like succeeding the actinoids and are much less known at the present time here we'll go ahead for the another question that we have to talk about it and that is the 10th question uh, that is your the tenth question that we had done. Uh, so here we have the question is name a member of the lanthanoid series which is well known to exhibit plus four oxidation state. So the question is name a member of the lanthanoid series which is well known to exhibit <coughs> a 
plus 4 oxidation state okay so on the same cases the solution the answer will get as uh, I had done here only in the oxidation table you can see that plus for oxidation state only here it has been representing here so yes for the same which is well known for uh, to exhibit only plus four oxidation state so that the member is that uh, that is your we have cerium cerium that we have and that is your atomic number equals to 58 okay now we'll go ahead further which is the another question we talk about it which is the another one and that is also an important one with reference towards it so yes uh, for this uh, that is uh, we have to find out as well and uh, when we are going ahead for uh, the same uh, which is uh, that uh, we have to go ahead not for this that the serum is not that we have to talk about the plus uh, four oxidation state so for uh, that it is your 58 we have cerium ce uh, that has been representing here okay so the, for that not this is for the thallium here not we are talking about this this is cerium okay so the question is actinoids contraction is greater from element to element uh, than lanthanoids contraction why this is the question for you as homework uh, that i repeat it that actinoid contraction is greater from element to element uh, than uh, adlanthanoid contraction by that you have to explain it now we'll talk about another one that is some applications of the and um, f block element here which is also an important one some application of d and f block elements that we have to discuss here so here for the same that iron and steel are the most important contraction uh, constructions material their production is based on the reductions of iron oxide and the removal of the impurities and additions of carbon and alloying metals such as cr mn and ni some compounds are manufactured for special purposes such as tio for the pigment industry and MnO3 for the use of the dry battery cells, their bat uh, battery industry also requires Zn and NiCd, and uh, uh, that the element of the group uh, the second uh, are still worthy of being called the uh, coinage metals and also Ag and Au as well, and that are uh, restricted to the collection items and the contemporary UK uh, that is your copper. Uh, coins are copper coated steel the silver uk coins are cu and i alloy that many of the metals and or their compounds are essential catalysis in the chemical industry v2o5 catalysis oxidations of so2 in the manufacture of the sulfuric acid which is tiCl4 with alch3 whole thrice that forms the basis of the and Ziegler catalyst that used for the manufacturers of polyethylene and polythene. Iron catalysts are used in the Haber's process for the production of ammonia from N2H2 mixtures and nickel catalysts and others. The hydrogenations of fats to proceed and in the wheel uh, that is your the uh, vehicles process the oxidations of ethylene to ethanol is catalyzed by pdcl2 and nickel complexes are useful in the polymerizations of alkynes and other organic compounds such as benzene the photographic industry relies on the speed uh, special light sensitive uh, property of or uh, that is agbr now we'll discuss about some of the very detailed about it and that we have to discuss here and that is some you can say that some of the important summary that uh, we had talked about from the starting till the ending here so on the same cases that what uh, we have discussed is your that the d block consisting of the group 3 to 12 occupies that the large image sections of the periodic table in this uh, elements that the energy of vitals are progressively filled and that uh, the f block is placed outside uh, uh, at the bottom of uh, the periodic table here um, that is uh, we had done and in the element of the four, uh, block
of their 4F and 5F orbital are progressively filled. We are corresponding to the filling of uh, 3D, 4D and 5D orbitals. There are three series of transition elements are well recognized and all the transition element that exhibits typical metallic properties such as high tensile strength, ductility, malleability, thermal and electrical conductivity and metallic character. Their melt, uh, melting and uh, boiling points are high which are attributed to the involvement of N-1D electron that resulting into the strong interatomic bonding uh, and in many of these properties the maximum uh, for, uh, that occur at about the middle of the each uh, series which indicates that the unpaired electron for D orbital is partially a favorable configuration for strong in the atomic interaction as well. On the same cases here yeah, that successively ionization enthalpy do not increases as steeply as in the main growth element with increasing atomic number and hence the loss of the variable numbers of electron from n minus 1 d orbital is not energetically unfavorable and the involvement of n minus 1 d electron in the behavior of the transition element that impart the certain uh, distinct characteristics to these elements and thus in addition to variable oxidation state they exhibit paramagnetic behavior catalytic properties and tendency for the formations of colored ions interstitials compounds and complexes as well the transition element vary uh, widely in their chemical behavior many of them are sufficiently electropositive to dissolve in mineral acid here although a few are noble and of the first uh, series with the exceptions of copper all the metals are relatively reactive the transition methods react with the numbers of non-metals like oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur and halogens to form the binary compound and the first series of the transition metal oxide are generally formed from the reactions of metal with oxygen at high temperatures and these oxide dissolves in acid and bases to form oxometallic salt. Potassium dichromate and potassium permanganate are common example. Potassium dichromate is prepared from uh, the chromat uh, ore by fusion with alkali in presence of air and acidified the extract as well. Where pyrolusite uh, ore that is MnO2 is used for the preparations of potassium permanganate. Both the dichromate and the permanganate ions are strong oxidizing agent. We are the two series of the inner transition element lanthanides and actinides that constitutes the F block of the periodic table with the successive filling of the inner orbital which is 4F and there is a gradual decrease in the atomic and ionic sizes of these metals along uh, the series uh, that is lanthanides contraction this has uh, that this has far reaching consequences in the chemistry of the element succeeding them lanthanum and all the lanthanoids are rather soft while uh, that elements succeeding them and uh, where uh, the lanthanums and all the lanthanoids are neither soft rather soft or wild, uh, white um, emitters they react easily with water to uh, give solution give plus three ions and the principal oxidation state is plus three although plus four and plus two oxidation state are also exhibited by some you know uh, but that is by uh, some occasionally and that the chemistry of the actinoids is more complex in our uh, view of their ability to exist in different oxidation state. Furthermore, many of the actinoids elements are reactive which make uh, the study of these elements rather difficult. There are many useful applications of D block and F block element and their compound. Notable among them, uh, among them being in varieties of like steel catalysis, complexes, organic synthesis, etc. So for this unit, this U8 unit, we uh, the questions we'll discuss in the next coming class and we'll continue with the coordination compound, which is your unit nine of part one. That is the last unit we'll have to discuss as well. Other than that, we talk about it. So yes, we had we had completed your sociology and software engineering, and uh, we had uh, we are dealing with the quantitative aptitude where we had completed your arithmetical ability. We had started with where we had completed operations on numbers, LCM and SCF of numbers, decimal fraction, simplification, averages, square roots and cube roots, and then we are dealing with problems on numbers, and now we are dealing with problem on ages as well. In terms of reasoning, reasoning has been divided into two parts, which is your verbal reasoning we had completed, and verbal reasoning, general mental ability, and the logic reasoning we had completed. In non-verbal reasoning, we had started with your CDs, analogy, classification, analytical reasoning, mirror image, water image, embedded figure, completions of incomplete pattern, figure matrix, paper folding, paper cutting as well. Then we'll have to start discussing about the rule detection here. 
in uh, terms of uh, chemistry yeah, we had completed unit one which is uh, the solid state where we had completed the general characteristics of solid state orphos and crystalline solid classification of crystalline solid crystal atoms and uh, unit cells numbers of atoms in the unit uh, cell and then your class uh, pack the structures packing efficiency calculation involving unit cell dimensions imperfection in solid electrical properties magnetic properties unit two is your solution types of solution expressing the concentrations of solution solubility vapor pressure of a liquid solution ideal and non-ideal solution colligative property and the determinations of the molar masses abnormal molar masses as well unit four three is your electrochemistry where we had completed electrochemical cells galvanic cells mass equation conductance of electrolytic solutions electrolyte cells and electrolysis batteries fusion and collision unit four we had done your chemical kinetics Rate of chemical kind uh, of reactions factor influencing the rate of reaction integrated rate equation zero cost order reaction temperature dependence on the rate of the reaction collision theory of the chemical reaction unit fifth is your suffix chemistry which have completed adsorption catalyst collides collide classification of collides emergent collide around us unit six is general principle and processes of isolation of element which had covered up occurrence of metals concentrations of ores extractions of crude metals from the concentrated ore thermodynamic principles of metallurgy electrochemical principles of metallurgy oxidation reduction Defining the use of aluminium, copper, zinc, and iron. Unit 7 we had completed that is the, the PP block here, which is group 15 element dinitrogen, uh, ammonia oxides of nitrogen, nitric acid, phosphorus, allotropic form, phosphine, phosphorus halides, oxo acids of the phosphorus as well. And then we had completed your group 16 element dioxygen, simple oxide, ozone, sulfur, allotropic form, sulfur dioxide, oxo acids of sulfur, sulfuric acid, group 17 element chlorine, hydrogen chloride. Oxo acid of halogens into halogen compound in group 18 element. Unit 8 we had completed the rest of the questions that we have to discuss in the next coming class is your the DPO and F block, which is position in the periodic table, electronic configuration of the D block element, general properties of the transition element, D block, some important compounds of transition element, the lanthanide, actinide, some implication of uh, DNF block element here. In unit 9, that is the coordination compound, which is we have to cover the one is theory of the coordination compound, definition of some important terms pertaining to the coordination compound, nomenclature of the coordination compound, isomerism in the coordination compound, bonding in the coordination compound, bonding in metal carbon lysis, stability of the coordination compound, importance and application of the coordination compound here. So we'll ending it up and here. It's a huge request from my side to all the viewers to please go through with the subscribe button and please like, share and subscribe our channel so that many and maximum people can get the information at once and even though you can also enjoy the video as well. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and give a suggestion on the comment box. Thank you.